Hi everyone, Jeremy Schwartz here, excited to announce the release of our new uh, content management portal for Rachel Plus. So now you can update content and add content on your Rachel Plus uh, through your web browser. So this is a big update from the complicated process we had before and it's really going to help manage uh, these devices for you. So what you need is a Rachel Plus unit and you need a Ethernet cable. This is also called a Cat5 cable and you need an active internet connection and this is usually your home router or your home cable modem and so you'll first um, be plugging one end of the ethernet into Rachel Plus and the other end of the ethernet into your home router and uh, I'm doing that, you might have to take my word for it on this one but uh, hopefully you heard that click, I have clicked this into my home router and so now this device is actually receiving internet access and so you do need internet access to update modules or to install new modules and that is done by uh, plugging it in via the hard wire here. So now that that is plugged in and it is emitting its wireless signal, I'm going to go ahead and connect to it and uh, one second here. There it is. Okay, Rachel has no internet. Uh, I'm already connected to it so uh, just for kicks, I'm going to disconnect and then I'm going to reconnect just to go through the process that you guys are used to. Um, and here it should, uh, well, usually it pulls up our captive portal. There it goes. Okay, click here to start. And in case it doesn't pull up that captive portal, um, you just navigate off via a web browser to 192.168.88.1. And so you're used to seeing this Rachel homepage. Uh, we have this really cool battery monitor now, so you know when it's plugged in, and this will also identify when it's charging. And it'll also give you the unit's LAN IP address, and that's an address um, that the unit is assigned over the wired network in case you're using this wired. If that uh, didn't make sense to you, it's fine. You're used to just using it over Wi-Fi, not a big deal. So we're going to log into our admin portal here. And uh, I'm already logged in, so I will log out just so you get that process. Click Admin. It'll ask you for your username and password. Uh, these default values are available on the uh, piece of paper that came with your device. I am logging in. And this is our new uh, content portal that we just released uh, this January 2017. Uh, a lot of you may be used to seeing this module setup where you can sort and hide modules. There's a different video on that already. But what's really exciting is these new uh, hardware version and install tabs. So the hardware tab will show you first how much free space you have on your device. It's this third um, bar here, the Rachel bar. And then this amount here, this lighter purple, is how much free space you have. And then we've also added the ability to turn off the wireless in case you want to use this just over a wired network. And then the ability to appropriately shut down or restart your Rachel. On the version tab here, this is where you will go about updating Rachel modules that are already installed on your device. So um, under the list of content here, you will see all the modules that are already installed on your device. And then you'll have this option here to check for updates. Now when you check for updates, um, it'll either tell you it's up to date or you'll be able to scroll down and there'll be a bar here next to each one of these modules that says update this module. And that way you'll know you don't have to update modules you don't want to update because we know bandwidth and internet access can be expensive in some of these places. So that will update all of the modules you have already on your device. And it'll also update the operating system if we release future functionality like this. The install tab will allow you to install new modules that we have made available. So for example, and it'll also allow you to delete modules you don't want. So if I wanted to first, let's say, delete these modules, it'll ask me if I want to delete them, and that's a permanent thing. So don't delete anything you're not sure you might want later. You can always just hide it and then show it later. This is just to release space or if you really don't want something on your device. So I've clicked the delete button. And so that module, which was this Tanzanian exams, should no longer be here. And so I've refreshed the page and it's no longer on my device. Now what I'm going to do is go back to this install and now I can install any one of these other modules that are available. So um, I will add the Medline Plus Static Edition here. And to do this, I've selected it and then I click the download button and it will start to add this content. And you'll see this progress bar here when the dark gray is fully finished, uh, that's when you're done uploading or installing new content to Rachel. And if you want, you can click this details here. 
And this will give you a, a, an idea of how long it's been going, the runtime, and really the uh, bar you are most concerned with is the amount of data that is finished downloading. So right now it's at 3%. And uh, my internet connection here is being a little spotty, but you're probably used to this. And so this will take um, probably about three or four minutes to finish downloading here. And um, one thing to note is that if your download fails, if the internet access fails, if you come back here, you'll be able to restart that download automatically and it won't uh, erase the stuff that you've already done so far. So I'm going to pause this recording just for a few seconds while the content is downloaded, this new module called Medline. Um, something to note is that the next thing that people ask us for is, well, what if there's a module that I want to create that doesn't exist or is not yet on this list here of modules that are available. So most of these modules are created by people like you who are watching this video. And we have on our website um, some instructions for how to create a module. And then you really just get in contact with us and we add it to the module library, which is at dev.worldpossible.org slash mods. And so you can come here. Oops. And sometimes the uh, let me try this one last time. Dev. The captive portal is catching us in a little bit of a loop here. There we go. Sometimes it takes two or three tries to get through that. This is the list of all the modules that we have available. And you can see this from any computer you want. And you can actually go in and check out previews. So if you want to create another one of these modules and you know how to do some HTML5 work or how to build a website, you can do that really, really easily. Get in touch with us. We will upload that module. Um, to our to our store, if you want to call it here. Of course, everything is free, um, but that's probably the best word for it. It's like a module store. So I'm actually going to go back and check. So we're at about 18% now, um, and I'll go ahead and pause the video and check back in when we're almost done. So I turned away for a little bit, and uh, it looks like the EN Medline Plus Static has uh, itself already been added, uh, finished the process, so now it's it's not adding anymore. So. If I want, I can go to the uh, Rachel homepage, and here I'll see it actually right right here at the top is the new um, added module. So this EN is med EN stands for English, and then Medline Plus. So what we've done now is we've showed you um, via your hardware how much free space you have, via the version, the ability to check for updates, and to find any modules which need to be updated here, and there'll be a little button here to update them. Then we showed you the ability to install new modules. And so this is all the modules that exist through World Possible and through Rachel, which are not yet on your device. And you see how big those modules are. So you can pair it with how much free space you do have remaining. And then there's also the ability to delete modules here. And if you delete them, they're gone forever until you um, re-download them. So don't do that uh, too lightly. Then of course, there's the stats tab which allows you to see what uh, packages are being used the most, the settings tab here to change your uh, password, and the logout tab. So um, in recapping, you need your Rachel Plus device, you need an Ethernet cable, and you need a home internet connection, uh, which you can plug Rachel into. So this is your Ethernet cable, your Rachel Plus, and you get the, this connected to your home internet or to an internet connection where you can plug in. And uh, then you're going to go through, uh, log into the admin panel once you're connected to the device. And you'll be in to update, install new uh, Rachel modules, and go ahead and delete or manage those modules. Now, again, lastly, if you want to create your own modules, please feel free to do so. Um, get in touch with us if you need any more help. Uh, it really uh, requires some basic HTML coding experience. Uh, anyone who does web design or web development can help you create a module that we can then put on Rachel. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Please uh, leave us a comment or let us know if you need any more help.